Hi everyone, my name is Victoria. I'm the social media contributor at CORE and today we're continuing with our educational series called CORE Academy. Today we're going to explore one of the fundamental pillars of the blockchain, consensus mechanism. We'll learn different types of consensus mechanism, how they work and why they are important. So what exactly is consensus mechanism? In the context of Web3, it is the protocol that, or process by which network participants, the nodes, agree on the state of the decentralized ledger, making sure that every transaction is valid and synchronized across the network. So you might be wondering, what is it about consensus that makes it so vital in blockchain? There are a few things to consider and let's cover them now. Trust and security. In traditional systems such as finance, we rely on intermediaries such as banks, governments or similar institutions to validate transactions and maintain trust. Blockchain removes need for these intermediaries by relying on consensus among network participants. Every transaction is verified through a specific process and it is only added to the blockchain when all participants agree it's, that it's valid. This consensus Consensus-based trust ensures that transactions are secure and temper-resistant. Decentralization. So blockchain's greatest innovation is decentralization. This means that no single participant holds ultimate authority. Instead, decisions are made collectively through the use of consensus mechanisms. So this fosters a system of checks and balances, reducing the risk of corruption, censorship, or misuse of power. This system empowers individuals by giving them control over digital assets and data. Preventing double spending. So the double spending problem is one of the biggest challenges of digital currencies. Without consensus mechanism, it would be possible to spend the money multiple times with just a few clicks. However, consensus mechanism makes sure that each transaction is thoroughly verified before being added to the blockchain. With a digital currency like Bitcoin, for example, uh, this means checking the sender has sufficient funds uh, to complete the transaction, checking to make sure the funds in question have not already been spent in a different transaction, and so on. This solves the double spending problem and ensures that the system is secure and trustworthy. Types of consensus mechanism. There are many different types of consensus mechanism and I'm going to focus on the most notable ones today. First is proof of work. Proof of work is the original consensus mechanism introduced by Bitcoin. Participants of proof of work called miners compete to solve a particular kind of complex mathematical puzzle that can only be done through brute force search. The first one to solve the puzzle gets the right to add a new block of transaction to the blockchain and is rewarded in Bitcoin. This mining process is energy intensive and requires powerful hardware. Next is proof of stake. So in proof of stakes, participants are called validators and they are chosen to create new blocks and validate transactions based on the amount of cryptocurrency they look up as a collateral, which is known as staking. This mechanism encourages validators to act honestly as they will lose their staked cryptocurrency if they don't. The last one is delegated proof of stake. So in delegated proof of stake, it's a variation of proof of stake intended to improve transaction speed and scalability. In delegated proof of stake, token holders vote to select a small number of delegates who will validate transactions and create new blocks. So each consensus mechanism has its own strengths and weaknesses. Let's sum them up. The advantages of proof of work are that it's secure, decentralized and well established. Its disadvantages are that it requires a great deal of energy, has a limited ability to scale, and because of the hardware requirements involved in mining has limited accessibility. The advantages of proof of stake are that it's more energy efficient, more scalable, and through staking can ensure the security of network. These advantages are that it's less decentralized and leads to more concentration of wealth. The advantages of uh, delegated proof of stake is that it is highly scalable, very fast, and facilitates efficient block production. Its disadvantages are that, like proof of stake, it tends to lead to centralization. It involves a basic dependency on the elected delegates and the governance structure of uh, delegated proof of stake networks tend to be complex. Note that what I just mentioned does not cover all of the different consensus mechanisms 
There are other less common ones like proof of authority, proof of space, proof of time, and so on. So to conclude, given blockchain's consensus mechanism is one of its most foundational components, it is the basic means by which the blockchain ensures that transactions are verified and trustworthy without relying on a central authority, and has an enormous impact on how scalable, secure, decentralized, and energy efficient it is. To continue Continue learning with us, stay tuned for another lesson and if you would like to remind yourself about the basics of Web3, see the previous videos. And don't forget to subscribe!